Um, I do think it's probably a good time to revisit some of the aspects of the legislation. Um, uh, the one that would particularly concern me is so it's where people um, have been informed that their children may have abnormalities or serious birth defects. Um, and I think that's very difficult uh, for people in that situation. And while I'm unsure what uh, my final view would be, I certainly think uh, it is something that should be in the, the, the public domain and the discussion in the public domain would probably be a good thing. Absolutely not, in my opinion. Because I believe in life, and as soon as conception takes place, it's a life. And, um, and it's a human. It's not just a baby after nine months, it's a human from the time of conception, a human being. Um, I know it's a very contentious issue, and I certainly I must admit I'd be on the fence on it. I'm actually a grandfather, so the practical implications for me are um, nil at this stage. But uh, traditionally, Irish women have gone to England for abortions and uh, if there is one properly monitored and properly uh, backed up with medical services and so on in Belfast, yeah, fine. But as regards one in the state, I don't know, it would be a brave politician and a brave individual that would stand up and say, yeah, uh, we're going to have abortion. Yes, I do. I think uh, we should revisit the, uh, the laws. I think we should implement um, whatever needs to be implemented to safeguard women against um, uh, the necessity to have to travel abroad, to travel out of their own country for, for a lot of reasons. And there were women on the Late Late Show recently who needed the, that procedure carried out for medical reasons. And it was heartbreaking to watch them being interviewed and the distress it caused having to travel um, abroad. I, I would be um, in favour of, uh, of these services being available where they're required.